welcome to all of you now we we'll discuss about bisection method by c programming theoretical practical for semester 6 cbcs bsc honors in mathematics C++ app is the bisection method problem 4 write a C program to find a simple real root of a nonlinear uh, equation using bisection method power x comma x that means x to the power x plus r plus 1 divided by 20 into log x to the power x plus 1 to the base 10 equal to 3.4 where r is the last digit of your c roll number and this is the program as in today's study io.h as in root on io.h as in root math.h first to define the function fx here the function is this x to the power x plus r plus 1 by 20 into log to the base 10 x to the power x plus 1 minus 3.4 equal to 0. So this left, 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 left hand side function is fx called fx. Uh, so this function is, uh, is dependent on x as well as r. So we define this float f function f float type and the argument is float x and integer r. Here, uh, this is the float s and the return value is s. s is the power x comma x r plus 1 dot 0 divided by 20.0 uh, log to the base 10 x to the power x plus 1 minus 3.4 return s. This is the main program integer main and the integer value r. r is the last digit of your roll number, c roll number. And float type variables x0, x1, x2, f0, f1, f2, and this e. First, we enter the value of r. Scan percentage d integer type variable ampersand r. The step counter, this is the step, is the equal to 1. The first step is the integer type variable step. Now, calculation, uh, this cal calculation is colon. Uh, if if uh, there are uh, error uh, to guess the initial approximation of the interval, initial approximation interval, then we come back to this step calculation. So we have calculation colon. Here in cursor the enter an initial interval uh, that contains the uh, root. Uh, so scan this m percent x zero m percent x one. This percentage f and percentage f the uh, root type variable x to the next one initial case initial intervals and next the print entered the value of epsilon that is the tolerance level uh, up to which the uh, uh, difference between uh, two uh, roots um, if less than this epsilon uh, then um, stop is the stopping criteria uh, this left than epsilon more of these uh, values is less than epsilon then we uh, stop the program uh, in, uh, iteration. The scan uh, f this is the epsilon value of epsilon e in the percentage f. Now we calculate the functional value f. I uh, call f0 is the function f, this function a given function f uh, this uh, for uh, x0, x0 is the initial uh, initial approximation uh, first uh, coordinate in the uh, x0 and comma r, r is the last digit of uh, your roll number and f1 is the um, functional value of f at the point x1 comma r, x1 is the uh, boundary point of the initial interval, uh, right boundary and x2 is the left boundary point. And checking whether the given initial interval contains the root or not. Now if f0 star f1 is greater than 0, then uh, this we uh, change the inis, uh, initial interval so we enter a new in, in initial interval and go to the calculation uh, so uh, we come back to this step calculation step and uh, the bisection method is this uh, first we uh, print up this 
uh, step, uh, the new line, uh, tab, step, x0 value of x0 value of x1 and tab, tab, uh, spacing x2 value of x2 value of fx2. Now, x2 is the x0 plus x1 by 2. So, uh, this is the, um, actually this is the, uh, one, two, this is the uh, midpoint of x1 and x0. Uh, initial approximation, midpoint of initial uh, intervals is x2. And f2 is the value of the function f at the point x2, comma r. Now, in the step, uh, this uh, percentage d, x0 is percentage f, x1 is percentage f, x2 is the percentage f, and f2 is the percentage f. If f0 star f2 and the product of f0 and f2 less than 0, uh, then uh, value of x1 uh, is equal to x2 and f1 uh, equals to the f2. Else, that means if f1 into f2 less than 0, uh, then x0 equal to x2 and f0 equal to f2. Uh, then uh, step in, uh, increment of the step, that is step equal to step plus 1 and uh, up to pi uh, f abs, uh, absolute value of f2 is greater than tolerance level. Uh, this is the F2 is the uh, float type table. So F abs means the absolute value of F2 greater than the tolerance level. And we uh, continue uh, this uh, do while uh, do while loop. Continue this do while loop. And uh, last step, print the required root is this and return zero and in the program. Now first we save this uh, program and then uh, compile. There is no error, error 0 and compile and run this program. Enter the value of R. Uh, first we put the value of the last digit of your roll number is 9 say. And enter the enter an initial interval uh, that contains the uh, row. Uh, this uh, row uh, say suppose uh, 0 uh, our first uh, left hand uh, left hand limit of this left hand boundary of the initial interval and this 2 say so 0 to 2 is the initial interval of the row then enter the tolerance level is this 0 0.00001 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 tolerance level is this so uh, this the beautiful uh, uh, the table and this step counter is the uh, x0 is the uh, column third column is x1 value of x1 and value of x2 and the functional value of f of x2 and this. So here uh, in the step uh, 22 is the 1.841576 and 23 is the 1.841576. So uh, the tolerance level uh, between these value of x2 and uh, x2 uh, part at the at, at iteration 22 and at iteration uh, 23 is less than epsilon. Uh, so we stop here and the required root is this. 1.841576 and this uh, copy the entire program and paste this in word file. So this is the word file. The bisection method first we write date and page number. Bisection method problem four. And this is the program. Uh, paste this. And this is the program and this output. Enter the value of this. And this is the root is this, required root is this, the required, required root is this, and this completes the practical problem.